Hey guys, so I have boxes here today, but I genuinely, I thought this was a doll body, but I think it's something else now because I ordered way too many things, but it came in like a doll sized box, but it's a bit too small for what I th thought it was. Anyways, I'm going to do like a box opening and kind of the first part of um, a doll that I'm slowly putting together. I kind of had to order her from two different people because <laughs> um, one had the head and the other had the body. Um, but anyways, I don't think this is that, but I do have another box that I know is her head. And then I have this. So I may just do like a part one. Um, but anyways, yeah, I was looking at this and like I'm pretty sure I recognize the address. But yeah, you guys, they sent me, look at this, this box. There is a single outfit in this box. I'm just like, I get it, I guess, but why? I mean, there's a lot of paper. Um, anyways, I ordered this from Ubi Doll. Um, or Obi Doll, I'm not sure. Here's like a little card from them. They are a U.S. dealer, um, I don't get it, you guys, like, <laughs> it's a doll heart outfit, um, so it comes with its own box, but I don't see why she had to send that big a box for this, but maybe it was all she had, she, he, I'm assuming it's a she, um, but anyways, this is gonna be... For that Dalmore Arno, Dalmore Arno, Dalmore Theo that I was thinking about. I do have a doll named Arno, but. And so it's a steampunk outfit. So here's some goggles. And here's a hat. And these are the pants. Um, and Dollheart. I, they're like one of those companies where I'm always looking at their stuff, but I've never actually bought any because every single outfit's like $150. But this one was only $100, and I pretty much liked all the pieces of it. So, you know, here's some belts that I felt I would put him in it. And I do have a body for him on the way, too. Um, but yeah, I just... Okay... It's kind of a big box to ship one outfit in. Oh, and it comes with um, a scarf and socks, too. So, Oh, good. These socks looked really red online, but they're brown. So I may actually put him in that. Anyways, so yeah. Big old box for clothes. And these have tissue paper in them, but I don't feel like ripping all the tissue paper out right now. So I'll just keep the tiny box. Um, so that's box number one. I have two boxes and an envelope. So I'll do the envelope now. And we'll save the other one for later. Um, pull you back up there. So this... Flip it so my address isn't showing. Um... I have to be careful because this is hair, so I don't want to like haphazardly cut into the bag. So this is hair from again a local New Mexico seller. In New Mexico, I meant um, I live in New Mexico, which there's a story for the next part of if that box ever shows up. Um, but anyways. Uh, I think they're from Michigan, um, but they have a store on Etsy, and so I've bought lots of fur from them, and this is alpaca fur. So I got 
This is a really pretty color. This is going to be for my doll more Theo. Like I said, I'm kind of slowly getting him done. And I'm going to need to straighten it again because it got curled in shipping. Um, and this is going to be for one of my um, future K-band dudes. But, you know, <laughs> we'll see if I ever have a life again. And can actually play with my dolls and make them wigs and things. But yeah, so that one was real simple. Um, it's called Shangri-La Ranch. Um, and they have an Etsy store. And I've bought from them multiple times. And right now it takes them a while to ship out because of the pandemic. Um, but if you are patient with them, um, it's good quality alpaca fur. And if you're in the U.S., um, I've been having, particularly with Russia in this situation, I ordered some mohair as well as accessories and things for my dolls from Russia, and it took, like, two to three months for some of them to arrive. Um, so, I have been trying really hard to buy locally, like, within the U.S., which is why I got this, and then why... I, um, got from Shangri-La, but I've also purchased from them before, and they do have good quality fur, so. And on to the big one. So this is going to be part of, um, a vinyl doll, and it's a Dolphy Dream, um, I I feel like I have kind of a love-hate thing with um, Volks in that they make all these gorgeous dolls, but I also feel like, and not to say that they're overpriced because I understand completely like the amount of effort and sculpting that goes into them, but this idea to like spend a thousand dollars baseline on a doll and then have it only be scalped in the marketplace afterwards, just kind of, eh. So with a lot of these dolls, even if they're characters that I love, I kind of just tell myself that it's not going to happen. Um, oh my god, I am having issues <laughs> trying to cut this box open. Um, but anyways, so... This is one of those dolls that I kind of just told myself I was never going to have. And I tried really hard to say, no, you don't need her. Which technically I don't. Um, but she was on the marketplace with some broken bits um, for, like, such a good price. I couldn't pass it up. Um, and, I mean, she was... Her body stuff was right around 500 so I mean it's not like she was horrendously cheap. Um, but her base price from Volks was 1000 plus. Um, so, you know, it's literally half off. Um, oh my god. This person used pushing tape. Um, you see the little pushing? <laughs> and it's like strong stuff, yo. Pushing doesn't fuck around. <laughs> um. Ready? <coughs> oh. oh, that was loud. I'm sorry. Anyways, so the body is the one that keeps like ping ponging around the universe. Um, I live in New Mexico right? I mentioned that earlier. It went from Washington down to Colorado, which is like right, right around, right around New Mexico, right? Like we're, we, we touch. Then it went up to Missouri. No, it went to Iowa, then to Missouri. And then I was like, okay. Then it went all the way to Arizona, which is a right next to me too, we touch, and then it went back to Colorado. <sighs> so
So it had to like either go through or around my state. And now it's in my state. I checked. But it's not here. So it's probably going to show up tomorrow. So I'll probably post that opening eventually. I have to decide how intense I'm going to get with it. Anyways, that's my story of what the F is postage doing. In the meantime, this is her head, and I have to be very careful because there's tape on this, but I don't want to cut her. Um, so this doll is... Ooh, she's so pretty. And her head cap is so much softer than the... So this is um, Cosmos. She's from um, a game called Xenosaga, which I played growing up and absolutely loved. Um, and she does not come with her eyes, but that's what she looks like. She's super pretty. And I felt like they did a really good job with the sculpting, so I got this from another person on the marketplace. Um, but one interesting thing to note, my first Dolphy Dream that I got was from 2010, and they used harder vinyl for the head caps back then, so their head caps were the effers to get on. Um, I have her eyes, so I'm going to go ahead and put her eyes in, but I need to grab my putty very quickly. Um, but, so I'd read that they made the vinyl softer on their newer dolls, and, uh, they most certainly did. So this here is my little jewelry box of stuff, but it's where I keep, like, my putties and things. Um, so yeah, like, her head cap actually comes off. I'm not used to, like, head caps actually coming off. Like, I literally had to cut a chunk out of this rim here on the head cap to get it to go back on the doll. And that's what you had to do with, like, the older ones, is they just kind of were like, well, if this doesn't work, you can make slits in it so that it goes in easier. Um, but yeah, so she is my project, because the body I'm inheriting, like I said, there's some broken pieces. And she's also got some staining, and that person apparently used a, uh, um, um the, the brain is not functioning, um, a body stocking for them, and it's still stained. So either their body stocking wasn't thick enough, or, um, it just was so potent that it's going to stain through even a body stocking, in which case, you know, I may or may not be able to do anything. Okay, I have her eyes over here. There they are. So Cosmos is an android, so she's got red eyes. And these aren't the official eyes that came with her, but they're, you know, looking at the video game character, they're the ones that I felt matched her the closest. Um, because Volks tends to kind of, like, prettify everything anyways. So, the eyes that they produce don't necessarily match the character religiously either. Um, you know, you can kind of see that with, like, the Sailor Moon dolls that they did, which... Yo, <laughs> those dolls are gorgeous. Um, from what I've seen, kind of a pain in the butt to work with the gloves, but they're gorgeous, gorgeous dolls. Um, but anyway, so I'm just working with, um, this is a silicone earplug, and I got it, one of the places I ordered eyes from gave it to me, so I've been using it, um, so yeah. There's one eye, so I'm gonna... And I actually... Yeah, these are gonna work. Um, what I was gonna say is I bought... 
The other thing that I've noticed that Volks does with their official eyes um, is they they make them really big so that you don't see a lot of the whites of the eyes. And so I actually bought them, you know, I think the Volks eyes for her were 20 millimeters. Um, and I think I got these in 18 so that they weren't just like engulfing her entire eye. And it actually looks really good. So, that's one eye. So now I need to do the other one. And then her head will be all ready to put on when the body decides to get here. It's in my state. It's in my city, even. But, <laughs> I don't know if I trust it, frankly. She's so pretty. I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, this is kind of, this is another like grail doll, I guess you could call it. Um, it's funny because I had so many grail dolls that I was just kind of like, eh, I'm never going to get them. That's just how it is. And then, you know, later in life. I am finding ways to pro procure them, um, because my first Grail doll was, um, the Soloid, just a Soloid doll. I really like the Soloid dolls. I think they're really cool. Um, and, uh, uh, if you haven't noticed, I really love like androids and steampunk and gosh darn doll zone just put out a limited android doll and you bet your booty on looking at it um <laughs> and uh so my i wanted one of the soloid dolls because they're like literally robotic <laughs> like from their chest down, they're all robot parts, and I, um, I got one second hand, and I love them to pieces, and then, um, so I kind of made a steampunk story for them, which maybe someday, if I ever get a life, I will talk about, um, now I get to do the pleasure of trying to get anime eyes to be in the exact right angle, easier said than done anime eyes are weird because you kind of have to make sure because they're not round you kind of have to make sure they're not like crooked oh but she's so pretty I'm so happy I can't wait till I get like the rest of her um let's see yeah But anyways, after him, I was kind of like, okay, I'm satisfied. And then my stupid butt went to the marketplace again. And, um, found one of the centaur dolls from Lutz. And absolutely needed it. Shit. Sorry. I'm, like, positioning eyes, so. Oh, what fun. Um, and he, he's one of the Pegasus, he's the one with the Pegasus wings, um, but one of his wings was broken, so he was kind of my very first fixer-upper, um, doll, and I fixed him up. He's, you know, handled with care, um, like, I don't... He stays up on my shelf. I don't take him down and do things with him. But he's also really big and cumbersome for an MSD anyways, so... Um... Let's see here. Yeah, 
think that's about good. It's probably about as good as I'm going to get them anyways. Oh, and now to get her head cap back on without messing that up. <laughs> oh, but she's like soft vinyl, so it works. Wow. I hope I put that on right. It looks wrong. <laughs> Hang on. Let me see if the other direction looks better. I swear it's easier. <laughs> I can't tell. Cause that... Hmm. I can't tell which way her head cap is supposed to go. Cause like, from the front, that looks right to me, and before it was like really flat, but then from the side it looks kind of weird. So, I think it's supposed to go the other way, but the other way looks weird to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it's supposed to go this way, it just looks really odd, but she'll have a wig on so that'll help. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, I guess it looks okay. It just... There's that ridge there, and it just seems weird to me to have a ridge on the forehead, but there will be a wig there. Anyways, there she is! Close nose! Um... Just her head for now. Uh... But yeah, so like, my Grail Volks dolls would be... It used to be the regular saber, but I made my own, and so now I'm kind of more just... God, saber lily, if I could get a saber lily. But those are incredibly scalped. They're like $2,000, and I could barely pay $1,000. I can't pay $2,000. Um, so that's going to be like a probably just, you know, always look at kind of doll. Um... And right now I'm working on, I'm hoping I can get the saber head to put on the saber that I made. Because I really like, and I put a lot of effort into, like, creating my own custom outfit and everything. So, I want that, but for Cosmos, um, you know, I'm gonna get all her pieces and they're gonna come broken, so I'm gonna have some fix-up work to do for her. But yeah, that's like the first part of this box opening. Um, I don't think I have anything else to say. Um, I'm mad. <laughs> what the hell, male? Why did you pass my state three times? Um, <sighs> and I have more things on the way. Like I said, I'm slowly working on my Dalmore Theo. I'll probably talk more about his story in future videos as I put him together because right now he's just an unpainted head because I just haven't... One, I didn't have his hair so I didn't know what color his hair would be in relation to his eyebrows so now I can do his face up. And I was also waiting on more finishing spray. Um, so, you know, I can move forward from here on but that's all for now. So bye guys.